we run regularly into antivirus programs that block the standard interpreter payload or other common penetration testing tools. In the upcoming demo, I will show you how to get around an antivirus, which you should know that they are mostly signature based. So what signature based means? Well, antivirus scanners look for strings inside each application and trigger an alert after that. Let's get started. Windows Credential Editor is an important tool for penetration testers since it can take clear text passwords from memory. This application is going to be our candidate for this demo. Let's download it first. Using the wget command, download the WCE application. I will try to copy the URL from the clipboard because I don't want you to wait for me typing all of it. Finally, press enter. Next, unzip the downloaded file. Try to copy the WCE application into the Windows 7 host and see what's going to happen. The antivirus detected the existence of this application. How do I know that? Click on show details and then show details one more. Here you go. WCE.exe is a potential threat. So let's remove it. Go back to our Kali's host. At this moment, we need to think about a solution for this. I will download an application called Evade that takes an executable and split it into multiple files. Why? You're gonna understand what I mean in a few moments. Now open your browser and go to the following URL. At this page, scroll down and click on Download Evade. Click OK to save. Let's try to unzip this file. Next, we need to execute the Evade application. So let's open it. Are you asking yourself, how does this application works? <laughs> That's why I'm here. Let's say you have a 20,000 bytes file and you want to split it by 10,000 bytes. Evade will make two different files. The first one contains the first 10K bytes and the second one contains the first 10K and the second 10K. Let's do it for the WCE application. First, click on the Open File button and select the WCE executable file. Now, select the Output folder. I already created a directory called Evade Out in the root directory. I will leave the default 5000 bytes and click on split. Completed successfully. Good job. Now let's close this and check out the files. The evade application split it, the WCE file by 5000 bytes for each one. Next, we need to copy into the Windows host machine. As you can see, the antivirus detected the existence of the WCE application. So let's clean it out. Open that folder and see what happened. The antivirus cleaned all the files after 40K. That means that our candidate is between 40K and 45K. Open a calculator and try to convert 40,000 decimal to hexadecimal and we get 9C40. Put that number in your head because we are going to use it in the next step. So let's go back to our dear operating system Kali Linux. Open a new console 
and start the hex editor application. I will scroll down until I find the WCE application. After opening the file, press T to go to the address 9C40. Here we have some texts on the right side and the equivalent in hexadecimal of each character on the left side. Start overriding them randomly with zeros. I will stop at AE30 and save it by pressing Ctrl X. Try to copy the file this time and see what's going to happen. And of course, let's switch to the Windows machine. Hooray! The antivirus is full. But wait, by changing the binaries of the application, the WCE will not execute properly anymore. The goal from this demo is to teach you how an antivirus detects the presence of a hacking tool like WCE.